Shady Maple RV presents the video series, How to Choose the RV That's Right for You. Hi, Ray Diamond here at Shady Maple RV. This is our continuing series of how to pick the right RV for you. This segment will be about fifth wheels. You do have to have at least a half ton truck you know, to move these things. They're not bumper pulled and only the smaller lighter weights are capable of being pulled by a half ton truck. If you get to the bigger ones, you know, 10,000 pounds and up, you're going to need a three quarter or one ton truck. But there are several advantages to a fifth wheel. I'll start on the outside here. You know, you're going to have more storage, outside storage on a fifth wheel than you will have on any travel trailer. A lot of these fifth wheels come standard with automatic leveling. You don't have to worry about getting in a campground late in the evening after dark and it's raining and you got to run up on blocks. You just back into where you want to be, hit a button, and it'll level itself, and it doesn't take long. You'll notice how much higher these are than uh, travel trailers. And that allows for very high ceilings. We'll, we'll go inside, and you'll feel like you're in your living room at home. Now, if you were in a travel trailer, you know, if I had my hand up like this, you'd be touching the ceiling. You can see the height in here. There's enough room for a paddle fan and you have the slides. With the slide open, you have plenty of room. This particular one has electric recliners and a dinette booth. You can get freestanding table and chairs. You can get a hide-to-bed sofa. Now there is a hide-to-bed sofa right here in this one. But you're going to get more cabinet space. I mentioned the higher ceiling height. So that's some of the advantages to the fifth wheel. Now a little disadvantage would be the step. Some older folks have trouble with the step. But come on in, I'll show you the bedroom. This particular one has a little wardrobe slide. Now it's traditional travel trailer and a lot of them have the wardrobe slides. This is a walk around bed. Some of the fifth wheels have a walk around bed going the other direction. The bathrooms are traditionally a little bit bigger in the fifth wheel. This one has two doors. Some of them actually have a bigger rectangular shower. This one is a traditional rounded shower. Very centralized control panel, all your lights, um, water heater, water pump, water tanks, all your tank levels, everything is right here. You don't have to be searching all over for it. There are also some luxuries in a lot of the fifth wheels. You have an electric fireplace on a chilly morning where you don't really need a lot of heat. You just turn this on and it'll take the chill out of the air or for a romantic evening. Open a bottle of wine, you can have the fireplace going with or without the heat. There are many options available and many different layouts available in a fifth wheel. Now this particular one has an 11 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator with is much more efficient than a traditional RV refrigerator. All the Rockwoods have solid surface countertops, stainless steel sinks. Most of them have very nice pantries, but again, that all depends on the layout that you decide on. A lot of them have opposing slides. This is just a single slide, but a lot will have opposing slides that give you a huge amount of room. You know, if you don't know how much you can tow, if you just go to ShadyMapleRV.com, we have a towing guide right there. Just plug in the information, it'll tell you how much you can safely tow. One last thing to consider, if you're a national park goer, fifth wheel like this is too big. Traditionally, the, uh, the national parks you have to be under 30 feet. We do have quite a few layouts under 30 feet, and most of them can be towed by half-ton truck. So, I'll help you figure out what you need.